Have you ever left a soda can in the freezer for too long and it exploded? Well, not like that, but you know what I mean. Like one of these. Hey guys, welcome back to The Science Kid, and today we're going to be talking about exploding soda cans. When you have a hollow metal container, like a soda can, that contains some water, and the temperature drops down to below freezing, the container will swell up to the point where it will eventually explode. Now, this happens because of a slightly complicated phenomenon called crystallization. To get to the bottom of this, we have to take a closer look at the molecules. This is a water molecule, also known as H2O. This shape is essential to how it acts in different temperatures. When water is in its liquid form, there is motion. This motion allows the water molecules to jiggle around to fit inside of each other, like a jigsaw puzzle. When the water freezes, they aren't able to fit into each other anymore. They stick to each other, like magnets. Hydrogen is positive, and oxygen is negatively charged. As opposites attract, they make a pattern. The more it slows down, the more the hydrogen of one molecule has to get stuck to more oxygen molecules, which creates the crystallized structure. As the crystals expand, it makes the can expand as well. At one point or the other, the soda can't take it anymore and bursts, making a large mess in your freezer. This same phenomenon occurs in pipes underneath houses. In areas that reach freezing temperatures, the water crystallizes and will burst the pipes. Now these are galvanized steel pipes, and they will still explode. So there is no way that an aluminum can would stand a chance. As simple as an exploding soda can may seem, it's actually quite an interesting and complicated process. Now, if you like this new style of video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.